King Abdullah has passed away uh, at the age of 90. Uh, he leaves behind a somewhat mixed record when it comes to human rights. He came to power initially as a reformer, and there was a lot of hope at the beginning of his, of his reign that there would be uh, lasting institutional gains uh, in the areas of uh, press freedom, of uh, freedom of expression, freedom of association, and other basic rights. Um, over his reign, Saudi Arabia did change its uh, trajectory towards women's rights and moved uh, from a very obstinate position towards a position of pushing for greater reforms and more freedoms uh, for women. Uh, for example, uh, Saudi Arabia uh, opened up educational opportunities for women and it also opened up uh, more uh, uh, workforce opportunities and in fact promoted uh, the right of Saudi women to work in many cases. Um, however, uh, the legacy on women's rights is, is somewhat mixed as uh, under King Abdullah's reign, the authorities failed to bring it into the discriminatory male guardianship system under which uh, Saudi uh, men are essentially able to control basic life functions uh, of their women uh, dependents. Uh, in the areas of basic rights such as freedom of expression and association and assembly, uh, King Abdullah came to power with great promise but unfortunately, after 2011, whatever small window had been created for, for tolerance for differing views was, was swiftly closed. And Saudi Arabia, in fact, embarked on a, a massive uh, campaign to intimidate, arrest, jail, prosecute uh, any Saudi citizen who dared to um, uh, contradict uh, official government policy. Uh, in the press or online, or any Saudi who, who called for uh, greater respect uh, for human rights and, and institutional reforms. Uh, we saw uh, particularly egregious uh, sentences handed down to peaceful human rights activists in the last two years of King Abdullah's reign, uh, merely for expressing their, their, their ideas freely. Activists such as Walid Abu Khair, who's now serving a 10 year, or excuse me, 15 year jail sentence. Uh, for merely uh, calling for um, human rights, as well as activists such as liberal blogger Raif Bedoui, who was sentenced to 10 years and 1,000 public lashes merely for, for, for advocating his, his liberal ideas peacefully. So, you know, the, the new king who comes in, uh, it's incumbent upon him to try to improve the human rights situation in the country. And he can do that uh, most quickly by ordering the immediate release of all Saudi citizens who have been jailed for merely practicing their right to free expression peacefully. Uh, and he can usher in a, a new era of uh, reform in women's rights by abolishing the male guardianship system.